Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, you may recall a couple months ago I went to a rock and mineral uh, show in downtown Waco at the convention center and that's kind of lit the uh, rock hound in me uh, bug over the past uh, couple months and in reality in the last couple months I have added more rocks and minerals to my collection than the entire rest of my life combined. So it's uh, kind of made me very a lot more interested in that and that all kind of inspired me to go in and uh, discover a neat little rock and mineral shop in downtown Waco that I've been to a few times uh, called Gallery 11 Crystals and Jewelry. Yeah, they sell jewelry too. I'm not really into that end of things, but they got some really great rocks and minerals and fossils and all sorts of fun stuff. And I've been visiting them a lot in the past few weeks and pick up some really cool specimens. And today I wanna to run down to that store, see if they'll let me in and do some filming inside because I wanna show you how cool this place is. Let's go. All right, here we are on Austin Avenue between 13th and 14th and we are at Gallery 11 Crystals and Jewelry. Now I'm gonna go in there first and see if they have any problem with me filming in there and uh, we'll see where we go from there. All right, so I got the uh, got the blessing to do a little filming in here. I'm just gonna show you some of the cool stuff that they've got. Look at that piece of amethyst. You're not really getting a good good idea of it because of the backlit from the from the window. But look at that. Look at that piece of quartz in there. How cool is that? That's a little out of my price range, but I would love to have one of those. And that piece too really nice now what they've got is they got a lot of stuff that are like shaped stones and stuff like that I'm not really into that as much I'm into more uh, natural stones things like that and of course uh, they've got a healthy collection of, uh, of UV reactive stones and I've enjoyed that a lot I've got a few a few pieces here from that but that's a nice amethyst right there right Now this is something I've been looking at. Look at the way that that glows in the light. Definitely gonna want to pick up one of those, but I can't afford that today. How awesome is that, though? And they got a whole bunch of nice pieces here. These these are sort of shaped a little bit here, but I don't know. I do make exceptions. Look at that one too. That one's cool. Oh, oh my God. I just love how the, the layers in there reflect the light. I love these pieces too. I love anything that has kind of really cool uh, geometry to it. So I'll have to probably pick up one of those at some point too. That's just a crystal that forms naturally that way. Yeah, see it turns out if you come into the store enough times they kind of get to know what you're into and so they found these cool spheres that uh, are ultraviolet reactive. What are these? Uh, Utah agate. Utah agate. Alright, those are really cool. Like, as, like I've said before, I'm not really into the shaped stuff, but mm -hmm. those are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you know, I picked up a piece of petrified wood last time I was here, so they kind of they kind of get used to what it is you're into, and so they found this. This is a piece of petrified pecan wood. You know how old that is? You know, just a just a cool piece of petrified wood. Came nice. from uh, Roy Cooper, who's the head of the Waco Gem and Mineral Club. Okay, okay. Yeah, he nice. might have some more info on it. Nice. And of course, this is our uh, mascot, Lucy here. One of these days I gotta bring my friend Jordan in with his dog Jaw. I think you guys would have a good time together. Oh Lucy, can you take care of him? Can you take Not barking at everyone today. Huh? Yeah. Now one of the other advantages, if you're like a repeat customer, they'll let you into the back room here and show you some of the new stuff. The stuff that they haven't even uh, shown anyone yet. Hasn't even been put out. And so, you know, I've gotten a, gotten a chance to see some cool things, yeah. Little kitty cat action. Little dogs and cats. It's not in the drawer, babe. It is not. They got like a wide variety of stuff here. Right, mine from a bench. 
bunch of geodes. I got my uh, UV reactive geode from this box last week when I was here. And of course what I'm doing is I always bring my UV light now. So you can see which of these are really cool. See, you can see how some of these react uh, with the green. Look at that piece. I think that's just, I don't think that's just really reacting to the UV, it's just reacting to the light, but that's still pretty cool. I wish the camera picked up how, how nice and beautiful and green this is. Camera hits it a little bit, but it doesn't, it isn't nearly as stunning as it is when you uh, look at it in person. It's funny, I was at work and I noticed that one of the people in our uh, shipping department had a little thing of stones and he had uh, some of this desert rose. And I wasn't exactly sure what it was, but I'd seen it before. Now I can go back and tell him what it is. Look at these beautiful pieces of rose quartz. That thing's like the size of a small bowling ball. It's bigger than a softball. I don't even know what what I would compare it to. It's probably about six inches in diameter. And then they got the little smaller ones. You know, there's my fist in comparison. Pink amethyst. Very, very cool. Dolomite. Mangano calcite. Rhodonite. Yeah, this is one of these places I could blow my entire paycheck in here. Look at that piece. I, I don't think you can even get a get a get, get a justice, but how how much it glows and how many little crystals there are in that. See, that's partially cut, and then kind of the side that's facing us is uh, is more natural. And you really see the crystalline structure in there. I really like that piece too. Look at that. It's uh, called vanadinite. Look at the crystals on that. How beautiful is that piece? One of the things I really like about this place is uh, they're they have really really good prices. A lot of times you get stuff like this and it's it's kind of expensive. But they buy stuff wholesale and they pass the savings on to you. So, very cool. Look, there's another piece of that Havana tonight. And another. Aren't those beautiful? There's some more down there. Look at that piece. Look at that. How cool is that? Look at the crystalline structure inside that geode. That is about the size of a bowling ball. That's a nice piece. So there's some nice pieces of aquamarine. That's beautiful. They got that in the display case. I guess that's probably something that people rip off. I guess when you get such a small piece, it could easily be slipped into a pocket. You know, just that little piece there, which is maybe the size of a grape, is $30. So, I'm guessing that that's probably something that might walk away pretty easily. I have some kind of cool fossilized stuff here, too. Haven't really picked up any fossil fossils, but... I mean, sure, to my petrified wood, of course. All right, I'm on my way out the door. I picked up a few things. I'll show you what I got when I get home, but I'm kind of seeing some kind of fun things in the window here, too. And I'm pretty sure that's just cut crystal or cut glass, not a real diamond. If it is, I wouldn't have it in a window like that. I'd be have it behind bars. I think you kind of get the idea why I really like this place. So this place is so much fun. You know, if you're a rock hound like me, you know.
All right, so I kind of broke my rules a little bit. I usually tend to go for natural stones. These are the pieces I actually got at, uh, at Gallery 11 today. I got a couple pieces of this Labradorite. I showed you a couple, uh, a couple really nice specimens that they had in there that I'm gonna probably go back and get at some point, but they had these little kind of inexpensive ones, and I was really kind of intrigued by those. Look at the way that glows in the light. That's just under natural light. That doesn't even require the, uh, the ultraviolet light. And this one too, this one's kind of cool. Look at that. That's cool on both sides. And then of course I got this sphere, like I said, this is a, uh, this isn't a natural stone the way it is. This has been cut into a, cut and polished into a sphere. But look at that under, uh, Look at how that glows green under the, the ultraviolet light. How cool is that? And then what they also do is they've got a, just a little dish of just little, little bits and pieces of, uh, of stone and you buy some of the stone and they'll give you, you know, they give, you buy a certain amount and they'll, they'll give you a little scoop of this. And I was looking at this under the black light and look at how that one there kind of glows yellow when you hit it. I don't know, these are all kind of, that one on there on the, kind of in the middle there kind of glows purple too when it uh when it gets hit by the light. A few of these are pretty cool. So I don't know. These are these are probably just little little bits and chunks of things, uh nothing really special, but I thought those are kind of cool anyway. So that's the sort of the things I got today. I thought these were all really cool. They'll be great uh, additions to my collection. And um I think that's pretty much all I have for today. So thank you as always for watching and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.